window popping ain't no stopping me man steady rocking watch them hate on me now cause i'm locked in watch the hate on me now cause i'm popping i ain't stopping and the new york giants are the super bowl champs what's going on giants fans sports fans nfl fans welcome back to another episode of g nation inside sports i'm your host big blue and today i want to talk to you about the 2023 new york Giants season um considerably different team than last year and a way different team than the year prior to that one um Daniel Jones now has an offensive line in front of him. Now he has some skilled players to throw the ball to and hand the ball to. Um, our defensive line has been um, stockpiled um, now to the point where if you give one of those guys in the middle or on the edge a rest, a fresh guy will be coming in that can still make an impact on this team. So um, all things considered, I'm liking the cornerback room, the safety room. Um, the defensive line room, the linebacker, we can maybe use another linebacker, but, you know, I think Wink is figuring it out, and uh, he's got some ideas different than what everybody else is expecting. So I'm anxious to see how the defense is going to play out. Uh, wide receiver depth is phenomenal. Um, Saquon Barkley and, and Gray, I think, are going to be great together. Um, still trying to figure out the guard situation thinking Evan Neal is going to take a huge step this year. John Michael Smith has already showed us that he is a pro-ready center. Um, Daniel Jones looks locked in, focused, precise, getting the ball out with some zip on it um, and accurate. So with the second year in this system, a few more pieces, a tight end like Darren Waller, um, some speedsters in Slayton, Campbell, and Jalen Hyatt, um, you know, and you got Wandell on the pup. You got Bryce Ford Wheaton. Uh, who can come in, you know, next season, of course. But but you got some guys that can make a splash and really make some noise for this team. So I'm thinking, and I'm looking at the season and, and the schedule, and 11-6 and six is the floor for the New York Giants. That's my prediction for the season. 11 wins, maximum of six losses, and that's the floor. We could go 12-5. and five, 13 and four, you know, the analyst on ESPN and NFL Network will never say this stuff because they don't want to give the Giants any props. But I think Brian Dable, Joe Shane, them guys have got this this thing turned around. And uh, the Giants are going to be a very serious contender for years to come. So keep your eyes glued on the New York football Giants because we intend to make some waves this year. And uh, don't be surprised if they're hosting the Lombardi by the end of the season. 11 and 6 is the prediction. Hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, hit that share button on your social media platforms. Help me get notarized. Um, leave your comments, thoughts, opinions, and ideas in the comment section. I'll always get back to you guys. And y'all already know what it is, man. Until next time, peace. This is a Big Blue Crew production.